in life is stargazing. Sometimes when I'm lucky enough to spot four or five stars in the nice sky of our city, I can't keep myself from wondering, how big is the universe? This question has haunted us for ages. We currently know that the universe is infinite and it's at the same time expanding. Don't ask me how. The scientist Carl Sagan once said that if we took a photo from deep space, we would see a tiny blue dot. And that would be our planet. That'd be us. Everyone you know, everyone you love, every hero, every coward, every saint, and every sinner in the history of our species. Terrifying, isn't it? Facing how incredibly small we are in comparison to all the rest, might trigger a sensation of worthlessness as if our entire existence didn't matter. This feeling of impotence we have towards the unknown is much like symptoms to some mind illnesses, such as depression and anxiety. About 340 million people are affected by depression globally. And thanks to all the deadlines and headlines, almost everyone will eventually experience some sort of anxiety. However, the belief that these aren't actual diseases is to persist. Even though scientists have already found out that the size of the hippocampus, brain area related to memory and emotions, is much smaller than that of a healthy person. So what are the consequences of this brain anomaly? Neurons end up sending the wrong message to the rest of the body, which basically is, you can't, therefore you won't. Now, I know what that feels like since I've suffered with anxiety since I was a kid. But I've also had the misfortune to eyewitness my grandmother struggling with depression, which is scary in so many ways. It's far from just a bad mood. She was physically incapable of getting out of bed, thanks to those intrusive thoughts whispering she had no power whatsoever over herself. And because many people don't, understand these diseases, they end up giving up their power, giving up their future by simply listening to those whispers. Feeling powerless is the main reason why 50% of all people who commit suicide are affected with depression and an alarming 90% with major anxiety. So there's got to be a solution to it, right? I mean, don't get me wrong, medication can be really helpful, but what if we could solve this problem by simply putting our minds to work? It might sound completely random, but Buddhist monks have known the answer for years. It has been proved by the Harvard Medical School that the practice of meditation helps in the healing process of mind illnesses, since it can increase gray matter density of course, there are many stereotypes around meditation, when actually it's all about learning to be mindful and present. Other side effects include an improvement in concentration, coordination, and even emotional regulation skills. And if this doesn't sound appealing to you, simple things such as juggling have been proved to enhance synapses happening in our brain preventing stress, for example. Throughout our lives, our brains will play all sorts of tricks to discourage us. It is possible to overcome these lies. We should look at our minds as an independent universe, always expanding itself. And the best part, we are the owners. We can shape this universe the way we want it, making it bigger and brighter. Feeling powerless does not take your power away. It just takes a little bit of awareness to understand that 
Even though we live in a tiny blue dot, we are much, much bigger than that. Thank you.